Well, greetings. It's the weekend, and this is your update. And the first full week of school is behind us. And it's really a, a cool time of year because I always think of it as like getting the band back together again. You know, people you haven't seen in a while and stuff you haven't done in a while, and we're really just falling back into that routine. Well, over on the Boomer YouTube channel, I did a short video uh, talking about a customer review that we got uh, that turned out to be quite positive. Uh, and uh, a lot of times you don't get those. And the reason I I want to draw attention to that one because this was an incident that really could have gone either way and I do use the word incident on purpose uh, because things weren't really meeting the customer's expectations and I finally decided to just take a stand and say you know what we're gonna get this done we're gonna do the right thing and uh, we're gonna make this person happy and uh, check out this short and you'll see what I'm talking about we don't want to hear negative stuff and I'm no different usually when someone takes the time to write a review it's going to be negative recently we had a really positive review Sonia is the parent of a student who's going to college and plays oboe and they want to bring the oboe in uh, to have some work done the shop has been so backed up this summer she was told that it was probably going to be a couple weeks before we could do anything with it I knew we had to do something we were becoming the problem and I want to make the problem the problem she has a daughter who needs an instrument for her college auditions we weren't doing everything that we could to collaborate to come up with the solutions. I called up uh, one of our manufacturers and arranged to have a loaner oboe in the event that we couldn't fix it in a timely fashion. I called her up and let her know what the plan was ahead of time. Having that backup plan and having the willingness to go the extra mile uh, I think is what's really important. Great scene in Apollo 13 where Gene Kranz, played by Ed Harris, he says to his first, says, I beg to differ sir, This, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. This is an opportunity to show what sets us apart. So turned out really great. I'm super thrilled that the customer was very, very happy. As it turned out, we were able to actually fix the oboe. Didn't need the loaner anyway, but that really wasn't the point. The point was that we were ready with plan A, plan B, C, all the way down until we could finally solve the problem. So I'm just thrilled that that one worked out. Then over on the podcasting store uh, YouTube channel, uh, I shared a video. This was something that I've been trying to do or have been contemplating doing, which is uh, stacking timelines, using multiple timelines to venture resolve. Well, Sergio Mo uh, created a really great video. It's less than two minutes uh, showing how easy it is to do that. Why would you want to do that, do you ask? Well, uh, he has uh, a channel that has content both in English and Spanish. So he uses that to uh, edit both of those videos uh, kind of in parallel with each other in completely different languages. Well, for me, I use that, uh, or I'm going to continue to use that, to create clips from my longer content videos. Now, I don't have his clip here. You can follow that link and uh, check it out there. Uh, but I did use this technique this week over on the View from the Road video in the clip that I'm going to share show you. On The View from the Road uh, this week, I was talking about kind of putting the puzzle back together again, building up the schedule and trying to see the teachers when I can. And I'm still working on that uh, at this point, even after a week. And I finally think I have it figured out and it's uh, it's all going to work out. It's going to be great. But this is that time of year where we try to figure that out. So here is that clip that I built using a stack timeline. Supporting everyone the best that I can uh, for what they need. And uh, you know, as I've talked about before, sometimes that's just lending a sympathetic ear. It's dropping stuff off, picking stuff up, uh, whatever expertise I might happen to have, uh, offering that and, and stuff like that. But it, it's a very large puzzle and it's difficult to, to kind of see all the pieces uh, at first. And it's going to come into focus here in the next couple weeks, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's just redoing it each year uh, is, is definitely a challenge. So we're going to put that puzzle back together. Then finally, over on the Podcasting Store Medium page, I did another one of my musical mysteries, and I'm really having a great time writing these, so I hope you're enjoying the ride along with me. And this week, it was about the unbreakable inventor that changed rock music. And I'm really not going to spoil this one too much. It's an incident you might not know about, but it's a name that I know you will recognize, and a horrible car accident that uh, could have changed everything, but it didn't because he didn't give up and continued to innovate uh, despite impossible odds against it. So that's as much I'll say about it. Follow the link, read the essay. Uh, as usual, I think it's a good one. So that is your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.